Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. This is just a quick, simple video. A client asked us to make for him. He's installing a one of the Sound Digital mono blocks, and then he's running four 8-inch woofers. So he wanted to know, because typically he would use like a 2400.4 and hook up one woofer to each channel. I explained to him that's not the most efficient way to do it. The amplifier will not do maximum power unless you bridge it. And then um, I recommend that he switch from the 2400 to the 3000.1. And then with the three, because you get a couple of benefits from doing that. So now, since you're running woofers, obviously you're going to be running more power. You're running it for bass. It'd be nice to have a clip indicator. The 2404 is designed to run mids, not woofers. So it doesn't have a clipping indicator and it doesn't have the remote level port. So um, he's switching over to 3000.1. He was just curious because before he had one speaker to each channel. So now he's got to hook up all four speakers. The monoblock amplifiers only have two speaker outputs. So he would have to put all the red wires together and all the black wires together to hook them up. I showed him the easiest way to do it. The way we do it is the hole for the amplifier is eight gauge. So we do eight gauge stinger power and ground wire. We extend it out a few inches. I don't like trying to jam four wires into one hole. It's just messy. So I do eight gauge down and then I'll do four 14 gauge or 12 gauge, whatever it is together, solder them together, then solder them to the eight gauge or you can use a four to eight gauge reducer, put all the wires into the four gauge part and then reduce and goes to the eight gauge part. Or if you want it serviceable, you can use an XT60, I'm sorry, an XT90 or an XT150. Solder the four 14 gauge to one side then solder the eight gauge to the other side. Still makes it serviceable, still makes it quick disconnect. Uh, it's pretty simple, check out the quick video. So the amplifier only has two channels of input and he wanted to know how he's gonna do eight speaker wires into two speaker wires. So there's two different ways we do it. So this is the simplest way. So what we do is we'll take two high quality eight gauge power wires. So this is Stinger, oxygen free copper wire, eight gauge power and ground. We'll do wire furrows. The reason we use eight gauge, that's the largest size that the sound digital or most amplifiers will take into the speaker connector. So we wanna use the full connector. So it's an eight gauge power and a ground into the speaker holes. As you can see, there's no more space because the hole is made for eight gauge. Then we'll do six to 12 inches of the wire. And because what we want to avoid is we want to try not to jam all these wires into these two small holes. Then you end up with, because obviously when you put them all together, that's going to be more surface area than just the eight gauge wire. So what we do is we extend these out and then we'll strip the wire back about an inch and a half and we'll combine all the positives and then combine all the negatives then we'll combine them here and twist them up tight and then we'll go ahead and solder that all together so you need a powerful soldering iron to be able to soak through all that, or you can use a mini torch because you got to get the wire pretty hot to get the solder to saturate all the way through. So we're going to pause the video for a second while I get my soldering iron or my torch. All right, so eight gauge wire requires a high quality soldering iron. So I recommend a plug in one. And this is our Aussie iron. This thing's awesome. It gets really hot really fast. And you have to make sure that you get solder all the way through the wire. Now it's going to take a while to do this whole thing. You don't have to paint the entire water with solder, but you have to make sure it penetrates through the center and goes all the way around. I'm not going to sit here and do the whole thing because it's going to waste a bunch of solder and kill the battery on my iron, but you get the point. You want a nice solid connection like that, but you want it all the way through the wire to make it one. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is using an XT90. So... Let me see your cutter, Kyle. So the XT90 will take eight gauge all the way in. So then you would go ahead and I'll do it live for you. So you're gonna solder that, you're gonna tin that, you're gonna tin that, then you're gonna join them together and get it to solder. 
So we'll switch over here. A lot of people don't like using XT connectors because they're a little tricky to get used to. But once you get used to it, it's no big deal. So what you want to do is you want to fill the end with solder. Solder likes to stick to itself. So you get that nice and full with solder. Make sure you don't overheat the connector or that pin will slide in and fall in on you. Then you want to go and fill the wire with solder. Now when you have a good amount of solder on the wire, you want to join the two together. So now that you have the wire and the connector in one piece, it's on there solid. You see, I can't twist it off. You go ahead and do the other side, and then you would add the speakers to the other side. Another easier way to do this, you can get a, let's say a four gauge to eight gauge adapter. And then solder the ends of the wire and then stick it in the adapter. And then the other end of the adapter goes straight into the amplifier. The reason I don't like using the four to eight gauge adapter on speaker outputs is it, the reason we use these amps are because they're small. The adapter is going to add like that much length to it, but I'll grab it and show you. So it gives you three options. If you use a mini torch, this would be a lot faster, but the mini torch gets really hot and you can end up burning some of the copper strands. So you could tell that the solder penetrated all the way through. Looks at, like a solid piece of silver in there. And then you would go ahead and solder that in there like that. And that gives that makes it serviceable because it gives you a quick disconnect on the amplifier like that. Now I'm gonna pause the video and grab the adapter. Okay, this is the eight gauge to four gauge adapter. This is obviously the easiest way. You just have to be careful that you heat shrink them before you put the other one in so they don't touch and arc out the amplifier. So then you would take your cluster of wires that you've soldered together, obviously insert them. And then you can go ahead and tighten it up. So this is obviously the easiest way. And now you have four 14 gauge speaker wires into one eight gauge hole no loss of current it's nice and neat so i've given you three different ways you could do it this is the way that we do it so this works on the 1000.1 1600.1 800.1 so on and so forth because there's very few amplifiers on the market that have bigger than an eight gauge speaker wire output so we have eight gauge we have four 14 gauge or whatever size you want to make them going into one eight gauge hole nice neat serviceable you have to work on it just unscrew and pull it out of the amp done hope, hope this helps somebody